Have you ever been so hungry that you just were craving something that could kill you? I'm talking about like meaty, fatty, filled with cholesterol, greasy, crunchy, just absolutely irresistible for your taste buds. So I'm gonna show you guys this sandwich that I made. It is, I wanna call it a breakfast sandwich, but it really is a sandwich that you would eat at like two in the morning when you have those when you have those cravings at that time of the day. It is a sandwich. Uh, it has egg, crepe, crispy pan-fried salami, and it's drizzled with this delicious hollandaise sauce made with eggs and butter, and it's all in between two English muffin buns. It is made with this delicious hash brown fry. And yeah, that, yeah, you're, you're gonna love this. So let's first start out with the eggs. How do we make the eggs? How do we make sure that those eggs are just fluffy and creamy at the same time, not chewy and bouncy, which is the result of overcooked eggs, which is disgusting and should never be tolerated. How do we make sure those eggs are just fluffy and creamy and delicious? Well, I have a very simple recipe for you guys. And if you follow this recipe, it will guarantee that your eggs will always be without fail and will always be creamy and fluffy and soft. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is to crack your eggs in a bowl and you want to beat those eggs. You wanna beat the hell out of those eggs. And the reason why is because when you beat the hell out of those eggs, that is what's going to make the eggs creamy and delicious. Now, if you're using a fork or a whisk, no, it doesn't matter, uh, you wanna make sure that the eggs don't clump when they fall through the fork or the whisk. Uh, so, you know, beat those eggs and then just lift that fork up. And if you see the egg struggling to go through the fork or the whisk, keep beating. Just keep beating the hell out of those eggs. Beat, 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 beat. You wanna beat those eggs for like a minute. Add some salt and some black pepper. Beat it some more and just keep beating it. And then you want to add a little bit of cornstarch, and this is going to make those eggs fluffy and consistent. Beat those eggs some more, and then add a little bit of sesame seed oil. Now you can add olive oil, but I like sesame seed oil because it does add good, uh, distinct flavor, and it adds some of that Asian taste, which I absolutely love. Beat those eggs some more, and by then, the egg should be just flowing out of the fork or the whisk, and that is a sign that your eggs are going to be creamy. Those eggs are prepared. Now, let's go to the crepe. The crepe is going to add that delicious cake texture to the sandwich. All you really need is uh, flour, milk, butter, eggs, you can also add oil if you'd like. The crepe really is the celebration of fat. It's just fat and cholesterol and flour. You want to add in your flour. So in my case, I added about uh, a cup and a half of flour. And then you want to add your milk. I added two cups of milk. And that really is what you need if you're going to be using a cup and a half of flour. Okay, so then... Uh, add in some butter. I add about uh, four or, or five eggs and add in some sugar. And that is really all you need. Uh, you can add a little bit of salt, maybe like a half a teaspoon of salt and that can help balance things out. But this is really uh, going to be 
uh, sufficient for having a good crepe. It really is so, so simple. This hash brown is very, very simple to make. All you really need are some potatoes, eggs, and a little bit of salt and pepper. That's all you really need. Grate the potatoes on a cheese grater. This is going to make the potato into shreds, which is gonna give an excellent texture for uh, the hash brown. And then you wanna squeeze the water because if you try to deep fry this hash, with all that natural liquid in the potato is just gonna come out horrible and you're gonna have stuff splattering all over your face because when you add water to hot oil, it's gonna hit your face and you're gonna suffer and it's not gonna be good. So you're not gonna have a late night craving satisfied, you're gonna have some pain in your face. We don't want that and you definitely don't want that. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the liquid out of the shredded potato. And once you've squeezed it enough, you wanna just take those shredded potatoes and mix it up with some eggs. And the eggs are gonna just bring everything together. And of course, add in a little bit of salt and pepper, very, very simple. And then just shape it to whatever you want. I use the spoon to shape the, the hash. That makes everything a lot simpler. That way you don't have to like arrange all the little shaped hash browns on a tray or anything like that. Just use the spoon, scoop it up, and lay it on that hot oil. And make sure that oil is very, very, very hot. Flip them a few times, make sure they are a beautiful color. And once they have that golden color on both sides, they are ready to be eaten. Slowly add the butter. Now the reason why you want to add it slowly is because if you put too much butter in too quickly, it's going to overwhelm the eggs and the eggs are not going to be given enough leeway to absorb that fat. So add it in little by little by little and you'll notice that those eggs will start turning into something else. They will begin to transform into a sauce. Right? This is straight up chemistry. This is not just cooking. We are chemists. When you are in the kitchen cooking, man, you are a chemist and the kitchen is your chemistry lab. And that's really going to give you a delicious taste and a wonderful experience for your taste buds because not only will you have that wonderful texture from the eggs and the butter but you're also going to be given that that hint of that delicious black peppercorn taste that we just so love and it is so amazing we absolutely love it put a little bit of butter or oil on the frying pan and then one ladle that's all you need one ladle of the crepe batter on the frying pan. If you want to know when you have to flip the crepe, it's pretty simple. Uh, once the batter on the top of the crepe is curdling or it's not runny, that's a good time to flip it. Pour the egg on a frying pan with a little bit of oil or butter.
So let's go to really the most simple part of this recipe, and that is uh, sauteing or pan frying your salami. Now I use salami for this recipe. You don't have to use salami. You could do whatever cold cut meat that you want. You could do bologna, you could do chorizo, you could do, um, you could do uh, pepperoni if you wanted. It doesn't matter. I just use salami because salami really was the cheapest thing that I could find at the deli. And that's just me. <clears throat> now, I just saute the, uh, the salami uh, on both sides. About 30 to 45 seconds is all you need because the meat's already cooked and you just want to crispify it. You don't want to overcook it and you don't want to burn it. So I just give it a good crispy texture on uh, on uh, the outside part of the salami, and that's all you really need. You just want that good, meaty, greasy, crunchy taste. Now, putting the sandwich together is pretty simple. It doesn't really matter how you arrange it, as long as it's in between the English muffin. You can put it in the toaster if you'd like. I simply gave it a quick pan fry with a little bit of olive oil on a frying pan and that gave me the texture that I really like. Uh, and just arrange it in between the English muffin. It really is that simple. I, I, I like to layer it up. I add uh, the crepe and the egg and, the, and the, uh, the salami, and I like to just be generous with that delicious hollandaise sauce, and it's really, really tasty.